a 2019 study by the Kellogg School of Management's Yang Wang, Benjamin Jones, and Dashun Wang looked at a 15-year database of applications that junior scientists had submitted for a prestigious National Institutes of Health grant. The study authors selected more than a thousand applications that hovered near the rating threshold necessary to win the grant. About half of the applicants just cleared the threshold. They got the grant, eked out a narrow win, and eluded regret. The other half fell just short. These applicants missed the grant, endured a narrow miss, and suffered regret. Then the researchers examined what happened to these scientists' careers. As a result, people in the narrow miss if only group systemically outperformed, those in the narrow win at least group in the long run. These silver emmas of science were subsequently cited much more often, and they were 21% more likely to produce a hit paper. This is quoted from Daniel H. Pink's book, The Power of Regret, How Looking Backward Moves Us Forward. No regrets. You've heard people proclaim this as a philosophy of life. But Daniel Pink said in this book, that's nonsense, even dangerous. Don't just think of regrets as negative. Everybody has regrets and they're a fundamental part of our lives. If we reckon with them in fresh and imaginative ways, we can use our regrets to make smarter decisions, perform better at work and school, and deepen our sense of meaning and purpose.